You are listening to Morning Edition on 89.3 WFPL. I'm Bill Burton, and it's time for us to take a look at the science behind the forecast as I am joined by Wave 3 meteorologist Tawana Andrew. Good morning, Tawana. Good morning. Today's topic is pretty relevant based on what we've seen over the past couple of weeks. And now that we're heading further into the winter months here in Kentucky and Indiana. Yeah, definitely. You talk winter, you think snow or just basic cold. But our topic today is tornadoes because it's relevant from what happened just a couple of years ago in western Kentucky and more recently just a couple of weeks ago in Nashville, in the Nashville area. Tell us about winter tornadoes. So they've become, of course, as you mentioned, more of a topic of conversation, especially after what happened in December of 2021. On average, Kentucky sees 25 tornadoes annually. Indiana sees 23. And it's important to keep in mind that only 10% of severe thunderstorms produce tornadoes, just 10%. So that just puts it a little bit more into perspective when you start to see these massive outbreaks happening. And you need certain ingredients in the atmosphere for a tornado to form. First, you have warm weather. So when we have these abnormally warm temperatures, that does enhance our risk of tornadoes. As the surface of the planet warms, the heat rises into the atmosphere. That rising motion helps thunderstorms develop. And the warmer temperatures are very necessary for tornado formation, but they become less common, of course, as you travel further to the north in the northern hemisphere. If we have some very cold Arctic air sitting over us, dominating the country, that basically will shut off our severe threat and our tornado threat. The other thing you need, moisture. That is super important. That moisture usually for our area comes from the Gulf of Mexico, and that is perfect fuel for those thunderstorms. The third thing needed, wind shear, which is vital because of course you have to have the strong winds for a tornado to have strong winds. Um, And wind shear is the change in wind speed or direction with height. So jet streams are super narrow bands of strong winds that circle the planet. And these jet streams, the flow can shift north or south as it follows the hot and cold air boundaries. And why a jet stream is super important in a tornado forecast, because as I mentioned, wind shear is the change in wind speed when you or in direction with height. So as you go up in the atmosphere, the wind is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And these boundaries are way more dramatic in the winter, leading to stronger winds within the jet stream. So as the polar jet pushes to the south, it basically meets up this cold Arctic air and the warm, moist Gulf of Mexico air. And this combination creates that perfect, unstable weather for us to have severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. So in terms of where it's more likely in the winter months, uh, it's really that stretch from Texas to Florida and then up to the north towards Illinois and Western Kentucky. That's where it's more likely in December. So if you think December tornadoes, 2021, Western Kentucky was where we saw, of course, all of that damage in Mayfield. Um, And that area expands to include more parts of Florida in January. And in February, it incorporates more parts of the Plains, the Midwest, and it even stretches over towards the Carolinas. So on average, across the United States, we have about 123 tornadoes that uh, have occurred over the last two decades between December and February. Some years are pretty quiet like what we saw January of 2014, where only four tornadoes occurred. But other years are absolutely crazy and dangerous. So in 2021, in that December, we had 248 tornadoes across the United States. 62 of those tornadoes were EF2 or stronger. So we had basically two large outbreaks in less than a week that contributed to all of those tornadoes. And of the 248 tornadoes that we had in December of 2021, 30 of them were in Kentucky and one was in Indiana. Remember, I said on average, Kentucky sees 25 tornadoes annually. That December, we had 30. That is why that was just so unprecedented. And to put it even more in perspective for you, uh, since 2005, the United States has seen at least one fatal winter tornado 
each year, at least one. And since 1991, we've only had three years where we didn't have a deadly winter tornado. 1992, 1994, and 2004. So as our temperatures start to warm and we start to see more of that warmer winter weather in the forecast, that's another aspect of the forecast that we have to start thinking about the tornado threat. It's not always snow. We know we want you know, a nice white Christmas, but we also have to keep an eye, of course, on that tornado threat as we keep some milder temperatures in the forecast. Yeah, we definitely don't want tornadoes any time of year, let alone in the winter, but at least now we have a better understanding of why they're occurring more frequently. And we know this because of the latest edition of Science Behind the Forecast with Wave 3 meteorologist Tawana Andrew. Thanks for the knowledge, Tawana. Of course.